Hello everyone. We're going to go through the steps so you could activate the plagiarism detector. Turn it in. Inside Canvas. Well, here we go. Let's get started and create an assignment. We'll go ahead and click Assignment. Um, from there, of course, in Canvas, like all the other um, things you create, there's usually a big blue button with a plus sign in front of it. And that's going to be plus assignment. To go ahead and create our assignment, we're continue on with these steps here. There's going to be seven steps. So that's step number two. Click the plus assignment. Step number three, let's go ahead and name this assignment. Okay, this is step number three. We're going to name it. Okay, we clicked assignment. We clicked plus assignment. Now we, the third step, we click and named it. I'm just going to name it test paper. And we'll let you fill in the points and, and all the other uh, display grades, how you want it completed, incomplete. Um, anyway, so let's scroll down ahead and, and add the submission type. And let's change the submission type to external tool. The majority of your instructors probably have online papers as the submission type you use for your students to submit uh, documents. But in this case, we're going to go to the external tool and we're going to click find, um, which would be what? That would be step number five. I hope you're counting. Um, we're going to scroll down. Uh, and we're going to scroll down to figure the internal tool called turn it in. It's the Turnitin LTI. This allows us to detect different percentages of plagiarism, which can help your students to correctly give proper citations in whatever format you want. So that was number, uh, I believe, six. Now, of course, saving and publish it is uh, it's just so standard that and I'm not even going to count that one right now. So we went through those six steps, and when you rewind, we can go through it again. I'm going to go ahead and call this last step the most important step. And it's allowing you to look inside the settings of your Turnitin app. And by going in a little deeper into your Turnitin app and scrolling down to the optional settings, this will allow you to turn on the analytics and the responses from Turnitin to your student. So your student will now be allowed to see how much of a percentage was considered plagiarized. And we do that by clicking Allow Students to View the Originality Report. And it will default to No, but I went ahead and clicked Yes. That allows the students to see. Maybe you might have this as a preliminary run through. Would you like to save these options for default for the future? Yes. So I'm going to have those saved and then I'm going to click submit. So it'll save those properties and all the students will be able to see the originality uh, results. That pretty much sums it up right there. If you go through those seven steps, you know, just rewind the video to watch your, the, the seven steps through it. And, uh, and you'll be fine. This is Mr. Multimedia Out.